The only thing worse than praying amiss is not being prayerful at all. It's even better to pray and make the mistake God can correct you. Ladies and gentlemen, please do not lie to yourself and say, me, I'm not a prayer warrior. There's nothing called the gift of prayer in the Bible. Go and read it. Among the gift of the Spirit, prayer is not there. If you ever think prayer is convenient, you lie to yourself. Prayer is like taking your bath. Prayer is like eating. There are times you are lazy and you almost don't want to smell water, but you know that you need it for your health. And sometimes you have to drag yourself in the morning. Be sleepy while you are praying. You just start praying and a miracle happens. But one thing I can tell you about prayer is prayer can become a habit empowered by the spirit of grace and supplication. Are we learning? You want to see the glory of God revealed? You must learn to pray. Not just as a group, so that people will see you praying and say, this man is powerful. Hannah was not interested in all of that. Corporate prayer is powerful. But corporate prayer is what you bring from your secret place. Prayer is one area you cannot lie about. If you are not, you can be hypocritic about other things, but not prayer. Because the kind of energy that you bring in the open must be built in the secret. You can't fake that one, I can tell you. hallelujah and you see let me tell you something about being prayerful there is a presence and power that accompanies a life of consistent prayer such that you obtain grace you can stand before a prayerless person and discern weakness in the spirit you can know that this person is sincere but you can discern powerlessness and weakness that if the devil should strike at this person he's gone except immune by the ministry of intercessors he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray. Koinonia, hear me. Just believing somebody is praying for you alone is good but not all profitable. Every family must become a family of prayer. Everybody must become a person of prayer. Wake up in the night. Discipline yourself. You may not have the grace to pray 10 hours, 5 hours. You will not even have the time to do that every day. Let me tell you the truth. But one thing you can do is you can build a system of consistency around your life. It's better for me to spend 2 hours praying every night and recreate my destiny than to sleep for that 2 hours and suffer for 30 years. It's a foolish bargain to allow slumber of 1 or 2 hours. Please don't feel sad. I'm not being hard on you without a reason. I'm just challenging and stretching you. Listen to me. If you are here and you are prayerless, receive deliverance this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Receive deliverance this night. And begin to practice it from this night. You wake up. There are strategies that can enhance prayer. One of it is an atmosphere of worship. An atmosphere of worship can prime your passion for prayer. Are we together? If you need to use your alarm clock, why not? It's a blessing. Don't say I must be, I, I must wake up by the spirit. You are not being serious. Wake up by any means you can wake up. Doesn't matter. I, the, most of us just live around this. I know the Holy Ghost has a way of waking me by one o'clock. You tiredness, you can sleep till morning. Even Jesus slept until men woke him up. Are we together? So don't, don't make a fool of your Christian experience and say, if the Holy Ghost wants me to wake up, he has a way of waking me up. No, discipline yourself. Wisdom is profitable to direct.